Welcome to Metal Vice in 666. I'm your host, Brian, joined with your other host, Karen. Uh, and Karen, what are we talking about for this episode? Uh, your experience seeing a show at the Salt Shed uh, Fairgrounds. Yes, the fairgrounds. Their outside venue thing they call call it the fairground thing. Uh, <laughs> um, we've seen a couple shows there now, uh, both inside. The last show was Dillinger Escape Plan. Uh, yep. We have an episode on that either already, already posted or will be posted shortly. Um, but that was supposed to be outside and it got moved inside. Like right. we found out as we were walking up, hearing other people talk about it. Yeah. Um, and we were a little disappointed. We wanted to check out the outside sort of venue and see what it was all about and how it felt. It was a pretty decent night. It was supposed to be super hot that day. Yeah, it was like 87 degrees or something. So Yeah. But I mean, by the time nighttime came, it was really nice. Yeah, so I was talking to my friend who I went to the show with. It was uh, an evening with Goose on September 11th, 2024, uh, that we d- I got to see experience the outside venue. Um, and we were talking, and we both brought up the same thing, that you're on this tarmac sort of thing. So it does soak up a lot of the heat, and that's going to retain that heat throughout the night. So if it's going to be a hot day, it's going to be hot for yeah. the crowd. So maybe that's why they moved it in. You thought they might have moved it in because of crowd size potentially. Yeah, it seemed like there wasn't that many people there. So we don't really know why they moved it in, but we were a little disappointed that it got moved inside and we didn't get to experience it outside. Um, but this didn't get moved in, so it was awesome. I got to experience it. Um, stuff that was different. So the security was moved to the entrance of sort of the the complex. Okay. We wondered about that, like where the security would be, because generally it's like right inside the doors of the salt shed, yes. like when you're walking into the venue. Um, but before that, you do walk through like a gate area. What um, could be a gated area. Yeah. I don't know. I can't honestly remember if there's a physical gate. They yeah, I guess I don't know. I can't remember. I guess I don't remember either. Um, but there is, I mean, it's obviously no, between it can't two. No, be because they have, they have stores, right, up there. They, yeah, you're right. Open. So it's probably not gated, yep. but it is between the two buildings. So. Right. Yep, yep. yep. Uh, the new Goose Island location is right there as well. So that's one perimeter of the building and or the sort of one wall is that building. And the other one is the salt shed itself. For like, as I said, they already have like a record store up there, a clothing store and like a uh, guitar Fred's, store. Yeah, Fred's guitar store. Um, but yeah, that's sort of where the entrance into the venue was. And that's where security was, I believe. Or security was down a little bit, and you had to walk through security, and that's where you got your ticket scanned. Okay. But that. What do you mean down a little bit? So, is it inside that little it's walkway, or that, on this on the sidewalk? On the sidewalk, sort of, because it's a road going up. And they have yep. that road blocked off, so it's down that road just a little bit oh, okay. that you go through security. Um, so before going to getting to Goose Island, even you go through security. Right. Okay. But that sort of barrier that they have between those two buildings is where they have the ticket scanning thing oh okay and they have sort of the, your walkway to leave the building is, or leave the perimeter or the 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 ground as well right so technically you could go to goose island if you don't have a ticket just you have to go through security first yes yes i believe okay. that's i believe that to be the case yes but so last time we were there we left the venue when it was inside for dillinger escape plan left the venue, walked over to Goose, and were able to walk back in. We just had to go back through security, right? Uh, this time they had a sign up there by the ticketing that said no reentry. That if you oh. left, it seemed like if you left, you couldn't get back in, which is weird then because, like, before we were able to go to Goose Island and then and get come back, back in. in. yeah. But right now we weren't able to, like, based That's on that. That's so weird because, like, we talked about this with Dillinger Escape that Goose Island, this was our first, that was the first time we had seen Goose Island out there from their, their Clybourne location. Yeah. location. And it almost seemed like there was a lot of misses where, like, they didn't have an entrance to the venue. Or, yeah. I mean, not an entrance, but, like, a way to serve the venue or, like, a walk-up or, like, a patio or anything for the venue area. So, in our mind, it was like, well, this is a miss on Goose because it's, like, you are missing out of all those sales and, like, that that crowd and everything. Where, it, in this case, with the fairgrounds, it's even more of a miss if you really can't leave and then re-enter. Yes and no on the miss. Like, it definitely okay. was a miss, we felt like, right? Like, you can't open it up. But what was new here for this particular outdoor fairground thing is Goose Island actually had a pop-up. Uh, oh, one of those container stores? Yeah, but it wasn't a container store. It was down by the main stage. It was oh. the closest bar to the stage, selling only Goose Island products. Oh. With the exception of Liquid Death. They sold Liquid Death oh, as well yeah. for the water. But... They had their own little stand. Oh, I guess that's nice because well. you don't see that like at the regular, right? Or in the in the venue, you don't. You have a bunch of beer options, and you still have that here on the fairgrounds. They have a lot of bars all over the place, 
So if you're looking at the stage, you're looking south of the city, and then to your right is west, which is where the physical building is. And they sort of have that balcony area above that. Below that is a bunch of bars, like oh, okay. all the way back. Um, you have their sound booth straight back front of house, you know, behind behind you facing the stage. They had a general admission grandstand that you can go up. That filled up pretty quick, uh, but there there's that as well. And then behind that is that normal... Uh, like food courty type thing. Yeah, that was there for all the other. Shows, yeah, like where you can. That's normally where you can go out yes. during the during the shows that are inside. Right, and that's where merch is too. It's over there by. It's closer to Goose Island where they have the um, the garage door that opens oh, into okay. the brewery area. Okay, as well, and that's sort of the layout of of this sort of fairgrounds itself. Are the shops and stuff still open during this time? They, I don't. No, I didn't go experience okay. them. I thought I did, but I... But, I mean, if you have to have a ticket, it would only be people who are there that would be shopping. Right, exactly. Because so at that point, yeah, yeah you, you have to go through security and you have to get the ticket. So maybe they close down for that one. And when it's inside, they leave it open. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I do think the pizza record store was still open at the time. Okay. But, yeah, that's a good point that, like, general people can't get in then when it's a fairground show. Yeah. So, I don't know. Interesting. Um... All in all, sound was fucking phenomenal. It was great. Um, the the main patio roof deck thing that we always seem to wind up, or the last two times we yeah. wound up on, um, that was blocked off. You couldn't get up there oh, unless okay. you had like one of those premium balconies. How do you tickets. get up there then? Is there like stairs from the? Bottom? I think you have to go inside. Oh, okay. I can't honestly remember. I didn't. I don't. Pay that much I don't attention. think that there's stairs on the outside, so you must have to go inside to get up there. I think there are stairs, but they go up to that side. Oh, balcony. there are. Yes, yes. By that bar yep. I was talking about earlier. Yep. Um, the other thing that was new that I didn't notice that I've never seen before is, and every time we've gone there, they've sort of they've built the main facility, the main you know, venue, and they seem to be continuing to add on to it as they, as they go, as they, you know, this is successful. We have more money. Now let's build out this section. Let's do this. Like it's, it's a stage sort of build, I think. And that patio area that I was, that we were talking about the first time we went there, there was like this back room area that wasn't completely finished and it's still not. But this time above that, they have another, I'm, I'm really bad with describing this. Yeah. So to the North, there is like the VIP patio area, or yes. if you're inside, it's off the second floor bar. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. And then, so above, so the building that's connected to that above that to the North is another patio. Right. Above that. Exactly. And we've never seen anybody up there, but yeah. this time they had it open. And there were I a noticed lot of that people when we were there. there for Dillinger, I just didn't know like how, it was used. Yeah, and I felt like that was it. new because I don't remember that the la the first time we were there. Not the first time, but the even the patio wasn't really the second floor it wasn't patio wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there are a lot of people up there, so I feel like that was even a higher sort of experience that you had to buy a different ticket even for okay. that. Uh, but that's sort of what I got from the vibe just standing there down below. But um, like you are the peasants on the <laughs> GA section, which is where we want to be anyway, yeah, typically, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, the sound was phenomenal. This view of the city was super cool to see that. Uh, was, I mean, that would be a benefit to get like one of those premium or VIP tickets is to be able to see the city from up. Yeah, the stairs. city skyline for sure. You get a lot better view yeah. from there. We got a little bit down on, on the main floor that we were at. And it filled out pretty well. Like It was a pretty sizable crowd that was, was there for this show. Um, and yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was a beautiful night for it. So... I really enjoyed the outside sort of aspect of this venue. Um, we didn't go to the restrooms. I didn't go and see. I was wondering where the restrooms were. I'm assuming you go inside or they're under that grandstand. I think okay. I don't know, honestly, but they're not like porta potties. They're not, I didn't see any porta potties okay. anywhere and I don't know why they would. They have great bathrooms yeah. inside. I don't yeah. know why you wouldn't just open that and let people go in. For yeah. That. Yeah. Um, we left, went to goose afterwards. And I think that's where I went to the restroom after the show and, and whatnot. But I mean, yeah, it was super clean, super awesome place. We we love the salt shit anyway. It's a super cool venue. We just wish there was more like our music yeah, there. Yeah, more metal going out there. Yeah. yeah. But it was a really cool, really cool venue. And the outside aspect of it was unique and fun. And yeah, we don't really have too many outside dedicated venues, right? No. You have some there's stuff that's northerly. reused. Yeah, yeah, Northerly Island. And then obviously the festivals that are outside yeah, oh, in the parks yeah, yeah. you but, have like grant park has their big or that millennium park that has like the oh big, that's a millennium park yeah yeah, yeah. They, have, they have a venue there but they don't have like metal shows that go there yeah exactly <laughs> so this was it's a really cool aspect to tack this on to the outside of this really cool venue already and double use the space i mean it would be 
fucking phenomenal to have a festival there, right? You can yeah. have a two-stage festival, one inside, yeah. one outside. And, and just, we talked about that the first time we went for Bad Omens. We were like, this would be an awesome festival place. It would be, yeah. Perfect, perfect festival place. Like, they have all the infrastructure yeah. there. Um, we bitched about getting there the first time. Yeah. But then we, we learned how to get ourselves there. during Dillinger. Yeah. Like, this isn't that bad to actually get here. Yeah. So it does suck. Horrible. I mean, the walk is hot in the it sun. It can be, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, no, that's cool. I'm glad that you were able to experience the fairgrounds and hopefully a show will come next summer a couple summers from now that i can then experience mm-hmm. it because one that you'd like to experience you can't experience it you just have to buy a ticket to a show you just have to yeah the you want music not, that you yeah, want to go to yeah exactly <laughs> yeah um all in all though a great time great music it was a great time <laughs> <Let's leave it laughs> well we're not here about the music this we're isn't not, about yeah, the music it's more but, about the venue yeah, we've this talked is about, about doing venue. episodes on venues like this yeah. anyway so i mean maybe we maybe this will be the kickoff and we'll do other sort of venue specific shows. I mean, we always talk about new venues whenever we go to them, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe we just kick off and do six, six, sixes on the venues venues. themselves. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, this was, this was a lot of fun. I'm glad I got to experience the show out there. Hopefully you'll get to find a show that you'll want to experience (laughs) out there as well. They need Um, to bring some more metal and then I'll be there. Yeah. But anyway, uh, just another live music that was, it was, it was awesome. So, you know, go check out some live music and uh, we'll catch you at the next show. Yep. Bye.